Are you tired of paying so much money for your cable bill? Are you ready to cut the cord with your cable provider? Do you have an internet connection? And if so, do you own one of these devices? A Roku 2, an Amazon Fire TV stick, or even a Google Chromecast? Do you have a Wi-Fi router wireless hub? And with that, I can teach you how to connect it to the PC so you can stream even faster. But well, let's get started on how to stream to our TV. First, you want to go to Plex.tv through your internet browser and create an account and sign in. I'm already signed in, saved password, and the first thing you're going to see once you sign in is Link Plex app. That's for when you have a uh, device that's going to ask for uh, uh, the, the app on your phone, it's going to link it through the phone with the code. It's very easy, but we'll get that later on in the video. All right, let's make sure I'm signed in. Yep, I am signed in. We can preview what an account looks like once you've signed in to Plex. Of course, it's going to have your username, all that stuff, subscription payments. It is a free software, and we're going to download it now. But there, you can pay for it if you want to make your server known. It has Macs, Linux support, and I'm running Windows, so we're going to download Windows. It's just like any program that you'd run on Windows. You download it, give it a couple seconds. And once that's done, we're going to launch it. But since I have it installed on my PC, I'm not going to go through a whole step, but it's just like installing any other software. And this is what it's going to look like once you install the software. You're going to find a little Plex icon on the bottom corner of your screen. Run it. It's going to pop up in a browser. And through that browser, this is what it looks like. This is your Plex server on your PC. All right. And what I'm doing now is showing you the general settings. Once again, this, this can be a paid service, but you don't have to do that. It's if you want to make your server ac remote accessible through the Internet. You know, let's say you're on a, p on a plane and you want to watch your Plex from home. But I don't do this. It's just for me and my family. And this is the user. This is device screen. Excuse me. It shows you all the different devices you can set up, like your phone, Roku's, Amazon Fire TV, etc. What I'm doing now is I'm updating the libraries, optimizing the database, and cleaning the bundles. Anytime you download a new video, um, let's say a TV show, movie, etc., you're going to want to update that so you can have the make sure it's updated so you can view it immediately. Very simple. And what I'm going to show you now is 20,000 Leagues Under Sea. This is a free movie you can download online. Let's look for uh, free movies. And this is one of them. Just testing out the Plex app, showing you what it does. All right, and now we're going to start the, with the Roku. All right, that's the Roku device, Roku 2 to be exact. The back of a TV, you're going to have HDMI ports. That's uh, preferably because it's much easier because most newer TVs nowadays have that. And right now I'm plugging in the HDMI cord into the Roku too. Right, there you can see it. And I'm going to now hook up the other side, the connecting to the TV. And it's that simple. There's no three or four or five different color coded cords to hook up. Yep, and there it is. And now you just want to plug in the AC adapter that comes with it to the back of the Roku too. And plug the corresponding power to the wall and your uh, Roku 2 is powered up. This is how we're going to set it up on the TV. Alright, first you want to go to your settings and then you want to go to your network because this is a wireless device. There's no Ethernet cord, there's nothing connected there, it's all wireless. And then you want to obviously uh, connect to your Wi-Fi router or hub with your username, password, etc. All right, and of course you can see there's different networks. Just set it up. All right, and then there's also different more settings, like you can change the color coded theme, uh, the remote options, audio options, etc. But what, what you need to concentrate on is the home screen, and on from the home screen you're going to download the Plex app itself, the, the Roku, and you're just going to go from there. It should automatically connect. It's going to ask you for the app link app on the website you're going to input the code from the Roku from the Plex app on the TV to the website now we're going to look at the Amazon Fire TV stick this is very simple as well one of the simplest you take the Amazon Fire TV stick you have the HDMI uh, adapter to make it even longer it comes with the micro USB uh, power adapter you can find those on any really um, um, Android device 
and now the power is set up and now we just plug it we plug it in it's already plugged in and this is how we set it up and I mentioned before you have to go through the uh, the Plex website you're going to enter that code and it's going to link it both now it's the Chromecast Chromecast there's the setup right there you plug it into the back of the TV you plug the power in and it's ready to go this one's a little bit different because there is no really Plex app on the device it's on your phone everything is just through the phone so what you do what I'm going to show you is that you get your Android phone iPhone it doesn't matter and you go to the Plex app on the Android iPhone store you download it you connect it to your account and then you run it and then you see the little uh, broadcast screen in the top right corner that's going to link it so now you are signed in you're linked and all you gotta do is click on the movie from the phone click the play button and there it goes streaming I would say Chromecast out of the three is probably the easiest and they're all around the same prices thirty forty fifty nine dollars and there we go thanks guys I hope you liked the video please subscribe um, I'm gonna put more descriptions in the obviously description section uh, description of section of the video and I hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks have a good one Bye-bye.